friend of mine recently came to me quite dejected about what they perceived to have been a failure of an endeavor that they had taken on. Uh, the context of that specific situation is not really important because I zoomed out and had to think about it and realized it actually applies to a lot of different situations. People feel a perception of failure and the question that I asked my friend is something that might be relevant to you whether you're looking for a job and really struggling and you feel like you failed in finding a job or you have a decision that you want to get um, a consensus support on and you haven't been able to and you failed in that or you're trying to sell a particular product or service and you think it's not working but I asked my friend a simple question and maybe it's something that you can think about as well I asked him kind of a nerdy question actually I asked him in this in the scope of this failure what was the sample size that he was actually working with and how did he know that the sample that he had gone and tried to sell to in that particular context or, or tried to uh, convince whoever he needed to convince was, was actually a statistically significant sample size for those of you who might be going what, what the hell are you talking about Dev look basically what this means is if you go and you knock on let's say 50 doors to sell a product just as an example how do you know that that is a statistically significant sample size in a market if actually the potential customer base was 5,000. Now if you think about it in the grand scheme of things, of a market size of 5,000 people, you need to sell 100 products, let's say. You need to ship them, you need to find 100 customers and sell them this thing that you want to sell. You've only knocked on 50 doors. But how do you know what the benchmark rejection rate is? How do you know what the benchmark conversion rate is for that industry, for that sector, for that product type? Most of the time when people really suffer and feel the pain of rejection, they don't think about these things. What they think about is that I tried and I ran out of steam. I tried and I feel deflated because I've faced so many rejections. Look, obviously it's a simplistic way to put it, but I can offer you this because it's helped me personally as well. If you take a step back and ask yourself, have I actually really knocked on a statistically significant number of doors to be a respectable sample size of the market that I'm trying to reach? Or have I actually spoken to enough people in my organization to float this decision to get uh, sensible feedback on what the decision is or agreement for that matter? You'll find that often the case is no. The answer is you haven't actually tried and persisted with enough people to be able to really earn the right to say that, oh, I failed.